Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Catholic Mass at St. Henry Catholic Church in Gresham, Oregon. My name is Father Charles Zock, and today is the last Friday in Lent. Let us begin in song. Seek the Lord, whose mercy abounds. Call aloud to God who is near. Today is the day and the final hour to forsake our sinful lives and turn to the Lord. As high as the sky is above the earth, so high above our ways, the ways of the Lord. Seek the Lord whose mercy abounds. Call aloud to God who is near. We gather in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and favor of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit be with you all. And Spirit. Whose mercy abounds, and so we turn to that God and ask for his loving mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Pardon the offenses of your peoples, we pray, O Lord, and in your goodness set us free from the bonds of sin. We have committed in our weakness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Denounce him. Let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped and we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble. They will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them. For to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. I love you, O Lord, my strength, my Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. In my distress I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praise be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. In my distress I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. The breakers of death surged round about me. The destroying floods overwhelmed me. The cords of the netherworld enmeshed me, and the snares of death overtook me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and cried out to my God. 
from his temple he heard my voice, and my cry to him reached his ears. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Your word, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the 10th chapter of the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The Jews picked up rocks to stone Jesus. Jesus answered them, I have shown you many good works from my Father. For which of these are you trying to stone me? The Jews answered him, We are not stoning you for a good work, but for blasphemy. You, a man, are making yourself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law? I said, you are gods. If it calls them gods to whom the word of God came and scripture cannot be set aside, can you say that the one whom the Father has consecrated and sent into the world blasphemes because I said I am the Son of God? If I do not perform my Father's works, do not believe me. But if I perform them, even if you do not believe in me, believe the works, so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me, and I am in the Father. Then they tried to arrest him, but he escaped from their power. He went back across the Jordan to the place where John first baptized, and there he remained. Many came to him and said, John performed no sign, but everything John said about this man was true, and many there began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Quite a scene today in the Gospel. Some picked up rocks and tried to stone Jesus. Quite an image. And Jesus gave a response. Which of my good works are you stoning me? They admitted that he had good works, but they admitted it's because you blaspheme. You claim to be the Son of God. For those who picked up stones, truth can hurt because it's unsettling for them. For them it was all about power and having control of the word. We remember from childhood, maybe you were taught by your own parents or by a wise teacher, sticks and stones can break my bones, but words can never hurt me. Perhaps you've even tried it once or twice on the playground. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words can never hurt me. But that's a misnomer. Words do hurt. Words do hurt. Words mean something. And so today, Jesus gave his response, but the greatest response was that he went back across the Jordan to the place he was baptized. To be revived by the words that were spoken out of the cloud by the Father. This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. 
listen to him. Yes, listen to him. He brings the truth. We also were baptized in Jesus' name. Out of the same cloud, maybe it was a little more quietly done. This is my beloved son and daughter, in whom I am well pleased. Listen to him and her when they speak the truth. That's what we're called about to do today. Speak the truth. Yes, some may pick up rocks and stones, but to witness to the truth is what it's all about. We are all meant to be prophets, not to foretell the future, but to present the truth in the present. That's what a prophet is. But because we witness, the Greek word for witness can be martyr. We may have to stand up to those who disagree. Today we take the words of Jesus to heart. I am a child of God. I am to speak the truth because I have the power from God the Father. This is my beloved son and daughter. Listen to them when they speak the truth. Let us stand and make these petitions to our Heavenly Father. We pray that the six days remaining to Lent, we will seek the Lord while his mercy abounds. We pray to the Lord, Lord hear our prayer. that we and the church witness to the truth, even when it is not in season and not well received. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And always, Lord, we call upon you for peace, for an end to division and anxiety in our lives and in our world. We make this our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. This will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Through this mystery of water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. This will become our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me of my sin. Sisters and brothers, we pray together that this, our sacrifice, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and all his holy church. Grant, O merciful God, that we may be worthy to serve ever fittingly at your altars, and there be saved by constant participation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, Contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. 
Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you, what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very Spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people, and may he keep us in communion with Francis our Pope and Alexander and Peter our bishops, and all the bishops with your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us share a sign of peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May the unfailing protection of the sacrifice we have received never leave us, O Lord, and may it always drive far from us all that would do us harm. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. A couple announcements. First of all, this Friday night at 6 is our last holy hour in Lent and also our last formal confession time on Friday night, 6 o'clock until we finish all the confessions. And again, Saturday here uh, at 3 o'clock. So it's our last formal weekend. Also, we begin with Holy Week this weekend with Palm Sunday. So please take a look at our schedule for all of that. Today is the funeral mass here at uh, the Fireside Chapel for Tom Steyert. Let us bow our heads and pray for God's blessing. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that your servants who seek the grace of your protection may be free from every evil and serve you in peace of mind through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Seek the Lord, whose mercy abounds. Call aloud to God who is near. Finding the Lord, let us cling to him. His words, his ways, lead us to life. Someday we'll live the house of God, hearts full of praise for God's gracious love. Seek the Lord whose mercy abounds, call aloud.